From the deadliest river predators to the worst kinds of insects in the world, here are 10 of the deadliest animals in the Amazon rainforest. Number 10. The Arapaima One of the deadliest animals in the Amazon, believe it or not, is a fish. I'm of course talking about the legendary Arapaima, which is a huge river monster that lives in the waterways of the Amazon and can grow to be at least 400 pounds. And while it doesn't seem like a fish could present any danger to a person, if you were to encounter one of these beasts while swimming, it could punch you so hard with its face that it could knock the wind out of you and cause you to drown. There is no better example than this than what happened to Jeremy Wade, the famous guy behind the hit TV show River Monsters. He actually claims that one of his closest brushes with death was in the Amazon while trying to net an arapaima in a pond. This fish was not even that big. Wade estimates that the one he was handling only weighed about 80 pounds. But nonetheless, it smacked him square in the chest so hard that he could still feel the impact six weeks later. He was actually worried that the hit from the arapaima could have caused damage to his heart. But thankfully, he lived to tell the tale. Number 9. Green Anaconda The green anaconda is the apex predator of the Amazon jungle. For millions of years, there has been no scarier monster in this region than the snake. The modern anaconda is a living nightmare. These serpents can grow to be roughly 30 feet long and weigh over 400 pounds, and they eat pretty much anything that moves. They spend most of their time swimming leisurely through rivers and waiting for foods to get close enough to attack. If you want to know just how dangerous the green anaconda can be for a human, take a look at this story from 2019. As reported by the Daily Mail, a diver who travelled to the Formoso River in Brazil had an extremely close brush with one of these great slithering predators. But he actually went to the Amazon with the intention of swimming with an anaconda. What he probably didn't expect was coming face to face with an anaconda that was at least 23 feet long and weighed 200 pounds. This guy actually managed to get video footage of himself swimming in the river with the snake, while it just kind of slithered around and checked the guy out. Surprisingly, the anaconda seemed more inquisitive than hungry. At the end of the encounter, nobody was eaten. But you can clearly see the size and power of this snake, even while it's just hanging out in the bottom of the river. While it didn't exactly attack the guy, it certainly could have if it wanted to. Luckily for him, the snake was only curious that day. Maybe it was already full. Number 8. Bull Shark Probably the last place you would expect to find a shark is in the Amazon jungle, but there is in fact an extremely dangerous predator lurking in the muddy waters of the Amazon river. And this isn't a baby shark either. It's a bull shark, and it is absolutely enormous. It is considered by many scientists to be the most dangerous shark in the world. Just take a look at this thing. It's huge! It's built heavy, spanning a length of around 7 feet with an average weight of about 500 pounds. It doesn't even seem real that such a huge monster could be swimming in rivers. There have been reports of bull sharks reaching an enormous 13 feet in length. If one of these ferocious fish were ever to get hold of you, it could easily rip you apart with its serrated teeth. In fact, it's being reported that the bull shark has the strongest bite force out of any other shark, chomping down with an incredible 1300 pounds of pure force. Another unique characteristic about this demon shark is that it can live in both salt water and fresh water. This is because it has special functions with its kidneys that allow it to perfectly maintain the exact right amount of salt in its blood. The bull shark is also a little different in the way that it doesn't lay eggs. Instead, bull sharks give birth just like mammals do. The typical bull shark will give birth to a pup already two feet long at birth. Number 7. The New Electric Eel A newly discovered electric eel living in the Amazon basin could be the most dangerous eel ever found. We already know that electric eels live in the Amazon and are very dangerous, but according to a new report from CNN, researchers at Smithsonian's National Museum of Natural History have identified new species of eel that are even more volatile. One of these new species, scientifically named Electrophorus volti, produces more voltage than any other eel known to man. This slithering freak of nature can discharge a maximum of 860 volts of electricity. In comparison, the normal electric eel can only discharge 650 volts. In terms of length, one of these eels can grow to be about 8 feet long. That is larger than any man on Earth. And when it feels threatened or angry, it can use its voltage against you. I'm honestly not sure which creature would be worse to meet in an Amazonian river, an anaconda, a bull shark, or an electric eel. The eel may be smaller, but it can do some serious damage with its electricity, and that could leave you dead in the water, literally. 
In regards to this newest eel discovery, the research team believe that the three species of electric eels all evolved from one common ancestor about 7 million years ago. They also believe that each eel's voltage could have been influenced by the specific conductivity of whichever water they evolved in. Number 6. The Amazon Pit Viper The Amazon Pit Viper, also known as the Bushmaster Snake, is the longest venomous snake in South America, according to Britannica. Not only do you need to contend with the man-eating anaconda, but if you take a trip to the Amazon, you also need to look out for the smaller, yet highly venomous Bushmaster. There are three species of Bushmaster known to exist from between the Amazon River Basin all the way to Costa Rica, and the average is about 6 feet in length, but they can grow to be at least 10 feet. These horrifying snakes are usually reddish-brown to match the forest floor, and they typically have X shapes or diamonds on their back. The only good news about the Amazon Pit Viper is that it's hardly ever encountered. It's super dangerous with potentially lethal venom, but you would be very unlucky to run into one. These snakes hunt using infrared pits located between their eyes, which they use to see warm-blooded animals coming near them. These snakes are so patient that a single Bushmaster may sit coiled for several weeks at a time waiting for something to come along so it can ambush it. Their favourite ambush spots are fallen tree limbs, perches high up in the branches, or just sitting in the middle of a route that they know is regularly travelled. And you don't need to worry about these monsters starving, as one snake can survive on less than 10 meals a year. They can't eat people, but a single bite in the middle of the jungle would probably be the end of you. Number 5. Bullet Ants Bullet ants are arguably one of the deadliest creatures in the Amazon, even if they aren't lethal. Now let me tell you why. First, the bullet ant can't actually kill you with its venom unless you have an allergic reaction. It can, however, give you such an incredibly painful sting that you lose your senses, become absolutely delirious with pain, and die from some other awful circumstance. If you get bitten by a bullet ant, you are basically down for the count for a full 24 hours, and in that time anything can happen to you in the jungle. The venom from the bullet ant causes pain that is very similar to being shot by an actual bullet, and this is clearly where they get their name from. Some people have compared the pain of a bullet ant bite to walking barefoot on hot coals or to having a nail driven into your flesh. The bullet ant has actually been voted as the creature with the most painful bite in the insect world, even worse than the tarantula hawk or the executioner wasp. These ants are found all over the Amazon, and you can usually spot them around the bases of tree trunks. The worker ants are also amongst the largest in the world, growing to be about 1.2 inches in length. A single colony of bullet ants will range somewhere in the hundreds, and because of their serious aggression, if you accidentally stumble into their territory, you could be stung by dozens of these ants in just a few seconds. Number 4. Yellow Scorpion When talking about the Amazon, people always think snakes and spiders. But you absolutely cannot forget that scorpions also live in the jungle. And while not every scorpion is poisonous, there is one particular bad guy that can do some serious damage and leave you either dead or in very rough shape. I'm talking about the yellow scorpion, and it's responsible for the most severe accidents with the highest mortality rate. Out of all the 160 scorpion species in Brazil, the yellow scorpion is the most dangerous. It's widely distributed all throughout the country and in the jungle, and if you get stung by this insect, you're going to be in hot water. First comes intense pain at the area where you were stung, and then comes the vomiting, abdominal pain, fever, hypersalivation, and cardiac problems. In a severe case, you can get neurological symptoms, fall into a coma, have convulsions, and in a few rare cases, even die. The crummy thing about the yellow scorpion is that it's only around two and a half inches long, and they can hide pretty much anywhere. Plus, because they are a dirty yellow color, they are pretty much invisible on the forest floor. You definitely need to be careful where you're putting your hands. Number three. Amazon Kissing Bugs You would think that with a name like the Amazon Kissing Bug, it would be a little less dangerous. But the Kissing Bug actually gets its name for a rather disturbing reason. This tiny insect transmits a life-threatening disease by kissing you when you're not looking, or even when you are looking. The Kissing Bug just doesn't care. It carries a very special parasite that can get you sick. These bugs live in the walls and roofs of homes in South America. They also like chicken coops and warehouses, and it doesn't matter if the area is rural or suburban. They hide during the day and become active at night when you're sleeping, and their favourite place to bite is at any exposed skin, primarily the face and around your lips. When you're sleeping, these disgusting little monsters are kissing you without your permission. And as they feast on your lips, they defecate and urinate close to the bite site, and this is how the parasites they carry enter your body. 
This is especially true when you instinctively rub your face, at which points you rub the urine and feces from the kissing bug all over into your eyes and mouth. The disease these bugs carry is known as the Chagas disease, and the World Health Organization believes that there are between 6 and 7 million people infected, mostly throughout Latin America. Without treatment, this disease can give you cardiac alterations, digestive issues, neurological problems, and can ultimately threaten your life. So, the kissing bug is not dangerous in itself, but it's just like the mosquito in the fact that it will fill you full of horrible diseases. Number 2. Black Cayman The Black Cayman is the biggest member of the alligator family. It is also the largest predator in the Amazon River Basin. The average male black caiman can grow to be a maximum of about 16 feet in length, which is even larger than the bull shark, of course, and humans. Is the caiman dangerous to humans? The answer is absolutely yes. The black caiman gets its name because of its dark, scaly hide, and it camouflages excellently on the sides of rivers and other bodies of water. This means that if you get too close, you might not even know until it's too late and one of these huge monsters bites down on your leg and gives you the old death roll. In the jungle, the only predator that threatens the black caiman is the green anaconda. People nearly hunted the black caiman to extinction because its unique hide is so valuable. But now, this dangerous reptile is making a comeback. Number 1. Botflies The last dangerous creature on this list is arguably the most frightening. It's definitely deadly. The things it does are absolutely horrifying, and I would much rather face off against a giant black caiman than meet a botfly. The botfly is not dangerous on its own, but under the right circumstances the botfly is like something out of a horror movie. Let's start by saying the botfly looks like an ordinary housefly, but it differs in a big way. When the female botfly needs to reproduce, she will catch a mosquito or another type of flying insect and then attach somewhere around 30 eggs underneath the insect's wings. The small mosquito is released and later lands on a larger animal. It begins to feed on the blood and the body heat induces the botfly eggs to hatch. The newly born botfly larvae then move across the same animal that the mosquito is feeding on and they too begin to feed. If you're with me so far, you might see where this is going. Larvae are basically maggots and now that the botfly larvae are feeding on a large animal, they will begin to burrow into the flesh of the host. In essence, the botfly larvae can burrow into an unsuspecting person's body at any place where a mosquito bites, and then they grow inside of you, feasting on your flesh until such a time that they decide to leave. But more often than not, they don't want to leave you and you have to try to get the botfly maggots out of your flesh, which is quite a bit harder than you might think considering how deep they burrow inside of you. The reason this is deadly is because the maggots can carry all kinds of really horrible diseases, and obviously since it's inside your flesh, it will pass these diseases onto you. Also keep in mind that botflies can lay eggs on sweaty clothing. Put on the sweaty shirt you left out the night before and go to bed later with 30 botflies burrowed into your flesh. Thanks for watching! Do you still want to visit the Amazon after hearing about these animals? Let me know in the comments section below. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button for all the latest videos. See you again soon!